Well, welcome back to our course, Writing 242, Technical Communication. Now that we've completed the first couple of sections in the course, we're going to get into the next area where we start to be thinking about what does it mean to be acting and thinking like an entrepreneur. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the um, getting exposed to the research and, and getting things set up for for um things there so this chapter we're going to think like an entrepreneur and some of you maybe you've started your own business or have thought about it or maybe you have a friend or a family member that have done this and so let's think about this in a constructive way as we um, move forward here so in this chapter we will learn how to identify the, the moments and places in which you can create and be innovative so um, some kind of some companies will actually try and create these type of innovative innovation centers. So think about what that would work for you. Um, so you want to be using your creative abilities to generate new ideas in the, the, the workplace. And so generating new ideas, you want to be thinking outside of the box, creating a strategic plan and identify your project objectives. That's something that you definitely want to be working on and um, use an online calendar to develop a timeline. So you need to have, think of what you wanna do, how you're gonna do it, and then have a timeline of when it's going to be completed. So let's think about this for a discussion question. What does it mean to, to think like an entrepreneur? And so within a company, sometimes I've heard the term entrepreneur, so you I-N rather than E-N. So within a company, companies are asking their employees to be innovative and to take calculated risk. Being an entrepreneurial means looking for new oppor opportunities and finding creative ways to solve problems. So first thing, then we need to be looking for I opportunities. We want to identify the, the moments and places in which you can be creative and innovative and take action. So you can think of the iPhone. Um, it was a truly revolutionary idea, this idea of having a, quote, smartphone where you have integrated functions into one device. And interestingly enough that, you know, it's a phone, but Oftentimes, it's what you can do besides having it be a phone that is now currently taken on more importance. So what did Apple recognize about the, the, the mobile phone market? Apple recognized a problem as an opportunity to put existing technology together in a way that solved the problem. Nobody wants to carry around a ton of devices. And so here we have this integrated product that helps to, to solve a lot of those issues. So entrepreneur, entrepreneurs really come up with something radically new. So that's interesting to be thinking about that they take advantage of an opening. So problems are actually opportunities in disguise. So look for the problem and then reframe it to be describing what the opportunity is behind it. Opportunities look like they will be challenging. So there is some type of um, work that's gonna be required to, to make them happen and opportunities are never perfect. That's okay. You're gonna try and massage things and take advantage of the, the best thing you can for the, the current situation. Opportunities are, are usually built on small failures, not big ones. And so you can be starting to take risks and then um, incrementally go forward. And finally, opportunities are about timing. And so one of the things that Apple has done quite well is they, they try to be innovative with um, something in the, the market and bring it out. The historically Microsoft has not tried to be the first player, but trying to take what has been done and learn from that and um, put, put something together that is exactly what the market needs. And so those are some different possible ways that you can be thinking about how that might look. So let's, think um, about the being innovative and generating new ideas. Um, here are some tips for being more creative. You um, want to keep this in mind as you train yourself to be more creative. Pay attention to change. What are the change factors that you're, you're seeing that could be trends that you could take advantage of? Be passionate about what you're doing. And so if you really enjoy this, it's a, it's a joy for you to be thinking how to making something a little bit better. 
creativity is hard work. And so re remember that it's not going to be a panacea, but you're going to be doing something that's quite innovative and you have that chance to, to break through that. Here with the naysayers say, but don't always listen to them. So their perspective may be missing something key that you want to be taking advantage of when we're moving forward. So when we're dealing with in, inventing new ideas, several invention techniques can help you to get the, the, the ideas out there, concept mapping. And so we've started to be thinking about that a little bit um, as we've been going through this course, mapping out how we're going to be doing our writing. Um, brainstorming or listing can be another way that can be helpful. Um, Sometimes with brainstorming, I like to say that for a period of time, the laws of physics don't apply. So you just want to start to get things out there. Free writing, just capture ideas. Um, that can be useful. Um, having an outline or boxing things into different areas. And we've seen different ways how we can be using the five W and how questions to help us get a sense of where things are at or where we might want to be going. So now that you have an idea, the next thing we have to be focusing on is coming up with a strategic plan. And so the three steps for a strategic plan is first on setting the objectives. What is it that you want to be doing? So if we're pretending that we're creating the iPhone, it's not going to be that, but let's just do that as a, as a mental picture. What would be the objective that we would want to have for that device? Then getting to the next level is we need to create a list of tasks that are going to be required for us to be meeting those objectives. And finally, we want to be setting a timeline. All of those are going to be key. And if you have that set up in a, a, a nice um, convincing package, you're going to get a, a lot of interest from management. And so finally, we want to be thinking about with a strategic plan, we, we want to have it um, set up with a calendar. And so an online calendar is a great way to do that. They're healthy because you can schedule events, deadlines, and meetings, then set up reminder messages through your email or mobile phone. And when setting up your project calendar, work backwards from the deadlines to set tasks on a timeline. And we talked about that previously of how how uh, we can be doing that, that backward planning, thinking the, the final end state and what are the dates that are going to be necessary to support that type of a timeline. Okay, that's it for, for this chapter. Thank you very much.